So I'm going to talk today about the setup statement. The setup statement is the first part of the EFT tapping statement that is that you apply when you are tapping on the side of the hand, the side of the hand point, or you're rubbing on a tender sore spot on your chest. Now when you are Stop saying by even the, though, statement. the even though statement, even though I have blank about blank and I feel blank about blank, I deeply and completely accept myself. I really want to focus on that last part because I think it gets people hung up. In our trainings, we really emphasize the original statement of the second half of the setup statement. Even though I have or I feel this about that, I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Now that is a self-acceptance statement that some, I'd say many people will feel comfortable saying along, especially as a practitioner, if you're asking someone to repeat that statement, they'll feel okay about it. There are a variety of ways that you can say that statement so that it really lands, but I think that for many people that statement is okay. Now this is what I find. Out there in all the various places where people are doing tapping, I have often heard people use, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now when you cross over and you add that piece, that love phrase, I deeply and completely love and accept myself, the vast majority of people will get hung up on that statement and will not be congruent. It's not really landing. They're just repeating it because you've asked them to repeat it. They're not congruent with that statement. It's going to cause problems, and you might even see it in your SUDS level not dropping. The effectiveness of EFT is in that it really brings things to the surface and has you accept them. And not so much, I love myself. That is a huge chasm for many people. Do you at some point have to address the love issue? All Sure. But why make it harder and start off with a block for most people by adding that love piece? Now, we are really big and insistent on having you as a practitioner or your practitioner, if you're a person hiring an EFT coach, use your words as much as possible. There is magic when you use your client's words as much as possible. So if you can't have them say, I deeply and completely accept myself, then you are going to have to, you're going to tweak it to something that they are more in alignment with. If you are swapping sessions with a practitioner, let's say you're a practitioner swapping sessions with a practitioner, and they come to you and they say, I really want to use this setup statement, I deeply and completely love and accept myself, that's when we say, yes, you're going to be in alignment with that other person by saying something they feel comfortable with. Otherwise, leave it alone, just try the basic setup statement, the second half, I deeply and completely accept myself, try that. Starting off with a new client, just try that because, again, adding that love phrase is just going to throw a monkey wrench into the whole thing. So I hope that this has helped you refine your EFT, and I look forward to more videos with you.